Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Tuesday. We got 11 matchups on this NHL slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And if you guys like betting on NHL player props, you already know, go ahead and sign up with Parlay Play. Get five free entries when you guys sign up. Go ahead and take advantage. Hopefully you can get some nice wins um, on this busy slate today. 11 matchups starting with the Anaheim Ducks versus the New York Rangers. Rangers opening up as big home favorites at minus 220. Anaheim plus 180 with the over under at five and a half. The last 10 head to head, the Rangers 7 2 and 1. The overs hit in four out of the last 10 matchups. Um, Anaheim got two guys questionable in this matchup. Then no major injuries for the Rangers here. Anaheim on a four-game losing streak. They're three and seven in their last ten. Rangers um, six and four in their last ten. Anaheim just zero oh and six on the road against the Rangers. Rangers six and zero oh home against Anaheim. Eleven and three at home. A really good home team in the Rangers. Anaheim they've been struggling on a bad streak. Uh, their last two games they have covered on the puck line so you know don't hate the puck line play here but you know i like i like the rangers at home they've been getting it done at home catching the ducks on a four game losing streak here um give me the rangers at home next matchup we have the arizona coyotes versus the montreal canadians montreal opening up as home favorites at minus 160 Arizona plus 140 with the over under at 6. The last three head to head Arizona 2 1 and 0. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Arizona 7 and 3 in their last 10, coming off a nice 5 to 3 win over Ottawa. They're 5 and 1 in their last 6. They're playing some of the best hockey in the league right now in this last 2 weeks. Uh, Montreal 7 and 3 in their last 10. Um, coming off a Philly win, Arizona four and two on the road against Montreal. Montreal just four and twelve at home, just not getting it done at home here. Um, give me Arizona. Arizona's hot right now, playing good hockey, and um, yeah, they've been fun to bet on right now. Got to ride this this Arizona streak out. I mean, they're playing good. Beating good teams during this span, too. Yeah, give me Arizona plus one and a half on the road. And then for fun, you know, plus 140 on the money line, I think it's pretty good value as well. Next matchup, we have the Dallas Stars versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. Toronto opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Dallas plus 120 with the over under at six. The last. Three head-to-head -head Dallas, 2-1-0. and oh. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Um, only one person questionable for Dallas. That's the only real injury for the game here. Uh, Dallas on a two-game losing streak. They're 6-4 and four in their last 10. Toronto, they're on a two-game losing streak. Coming off just two horrible losses against Buffalo and Arizona, where they were th minus 300 or higher favorites. Dallas eight and three on the road. Um, yeah, Toronto on a bad stretch. They just can't be trusted right now after those two huge losses. Can't do it. They've just been parlay killers. And um, wait, I'm waiting for Toronto to get back on track here. But I like the Stars plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the New York Islanders versus the Washington Capitals. Washington opening up as home favorites at minus 160. The Islanders plus 140 with the over-under at 5.5. The last three head-to-head, -head, Washington is 3-0. The over's hidden one out of the last three matchups. Uh, no major injuries in this matchup here. Islanders on a three-game winning streak. They're 5-5 five five in their last 10. Washington 6-4 and four in their last 10. They're 4-1 and one in their last five. Yeah, the Islanders just one and four against Washington. Um, Washington 14, 11 and five at home. 
Yeah, you know, I know the Islanders are coming into this on a, on a winning streak here, but I do like the Capitals at home, so I'm rolling with Washington. Next matchup, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Nashville Predators. Pittsburgh opening up as uh, home favorites at minus 115. Nashville minus 105 with the over-under at 6. The last 10 head-to-head -head pits, 6-3-1. and one. The overs hit in 5 out of the last 10 matchups. No real injuries in this matchup here. Pittsburgh on a two-game winning streak. They're 5-5 five and five in their last 10. Nashville, 4-1 and one in their last 5. Uh, Pitt, they're 6-2 and two against Nashville. Um, the overs hit in Nashville is 4 out of their last 6 games here. Um, yeah, not tons of value in here. Basically a pick em scenario. Um, it's looking like Nashville is the underdog here. I'm going to take Nashville on the puck line at home. Next matchup, we have the Vegas Golden Knights versus the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, Winnipeg opening up as home favorites at minus 115. Vegas minus 105 with the over-under at 6. The last three head-to-head, -head, Winnipeg 3-0. The over's hit in two out of the last three matchups. Um, Vegas, they have two players questionable for this matchup. And then no injuries for uh, Winnipeg, Vegas on a four game losing streak right now. Only been able to cover on the puck line in one of those matchups. Winnipeg three and one in their last four. Yeah, Vegas, they've been struggling one and five on the road. Um, not enough for me to trust Winnipeg here. Um, even though they, they're four, three and one in their last four, they are just five and five in their last 10. I mean, haven't been that great. I know Vegas on a losing streak here. I like Vegas plus one and a half on the road. I'm just not in love with Winnipeg here. So we're gonna roll with the Knights on the puck line. Next matchup, we have the Boston Bruins versus the Chicago Blackhawks. The Bruins opening up as road favorites at minus 175. Chicago plus 155 with the over under at six. The last three head to head, Boston 2-0-1. The overs hit in two out of the last three matchups. Uh, no real injuries for the Bruins. Got two guys questionable for the Blackhawks. Bruins, eight and two in their last 10. They're on a two game winning streak. Uh, they did already just beat Chicago four to three just two games ago. Chicago, four and six in their last 10. Bruins, six and one on the road where they've been able to get it done. Yeah, you know, Bruins playing good on the road, already just beat up, or not beat up, but they did beat this Blackhawks uh, team in their last in their last meeting. Give me the Bruins on the road. Next matchup, we have the Detroit Red Wings versus the Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton opening up as big home favorites at minus 280. Detroit plus 240 with the over-under at 6.5. The last three head-to-head, -head, Detroit is 2-1-0. The over just 0 and 3 in the last three matchups. Uh, Detroit, we have Bertuzzi. He is out for this matchup. Um, no major injuries for Edmonton. Detroit, they're on a five game losing streak, 2 and 8 in their last 10. Edmonton, just 4 and 6 in their last 10, but they are on a two game winning streak, coming off two big wins over Tampa Bay and Washington. Yeah, Detroit, 1 and 4 on the road. On that five game losing streak, yeah, I just don't trust the Red Wings right now. They are slumping pretty bad. Give me the Oilers at home. Next matchup, we have the New Jersey Devils versus the Vancouver Canucks. Vancouver opening up as home favorites at minus 155. The Devils plus 135 with the over under at six. The last 10 head to head, the Devils are 10 and 0. The over is hidden one out of the last eight matchups. Only one person questionable for the Devils. Uh, no major injuries for Vancouver. The Devils, three and one in their last four. Playing pretty good hockey in this last, you know, this last month. Uh, Vancouver on a two game losing streak. They are six and four in their last 10. The Devils just five, five and zero oh against Vancouver on the road. 
They're 10-0. They've been dominant against Vancouver. Kind of crazy. Um, yeah, the fact they've been so dominant against Vancouver, kind of crazy. And Vancouver, you know, on a losing streak here. Give me the Devils plus one and a half on the road. And then, you know, I don't hate them plus 135. Can they make it 11-0 against Vancouver? I don't know, but I'm willing to throw, uh, take a shot at that. Next matchup, we have the Colorado Avalanche versus the Los Angeles Kings. Colorado opening up as road favorites at minus 210. LA plus 175 with the over-under at 6. The last 10 head-to-head -head Colorado, 8-2-0. The over's hit in 3 out of the last 10 matchups. Colorado, 6-4 in their last 10. LA, also 6-4 in their last 10. Colorado coming off that big win over Calgary um, on a seven-game winning streak against LA. 10-4 and four on the road where they've been able to get it done. Yeah, you know, I like the Avalanche on the road here. Um, coming off that nice Calgary win here. We're going to see if LA is at least able to cover at home. I'm not in love with that, though, so I'm taking the Avalanche on the road. Then the last matchup, we have the Florida Panthers versus the San Jose Sharks. Florida opening up as road favorites at minus 230. San Jose plus 190 with the over-under at 6.5. The last three head-to-head, -head, Florida is 3-0. The over is hidden two out of the last three matchups. Florida 6-4 in their last 10. They are 5-1 in their last six. San Jose just four and six in their last 10, coming off two wins over at the Kings. Yeah, Florida, they're on a five game winning streak against San Jose, five and one on the road right now. Uh, San Jose just four and eight at home, not the best home team here. And for that reason, um, I'm rolling with the Panthers on the road. And that's gonna be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Tuesday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Wednesday. Have a good one.